Hi there everyone. Winter is definitely the season of the tiny whoop, and when it's cold and wet and dark outside, there is nothing better than zooming around your house with a tiny drone to banish those winter blues. And we're lucky to have two digital systems designed specifically for tiny whoops on the market right now. We have the Walksnow Avatar 1S Lite VTX and the Whoop Lite VTX from HD Zero. And both of these systems come in under 10 grams, and so they're perfect for 65 or 75 millimeter tiny whoops. This video is going to be a product shootout between these two systems, looking at image quality, latency, weight, and all those important factors. And I hope that by the end of the video, if you're planning to upgrade your tiny whoop to digital, you'll know which system is going to be right for you. It's a lot to cover, so let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into it. So let's compare the two systems on the bench. And you can see that the constraints of driving the weight down as far as possible for tiny whoops has led both manufacturers to adopt a very similar design. The HD0 and Walksnail systems both use a 25.5 mm single board design. The only difference in mounting being that HD0 have three millimeter holes, which means that you can fit gummies for mounting onto a M2 stack whereas the Walksnail system has two millimeter holes. So you're going to be mounting that either with plastic spacers or O-rings. Both systems have a nano sized 14 millimeter camera and use a UFL whip style antenna. Again, because these are the lightest options available. The main difference between the two systems is I think in the camera. The HD zero system has this smaller lens and also has inserts for M1.4 screws, so that will help mount the camera into a 3D printed camera mount. The Walksnail system uses a much larger lens assembly, and we'll see how that plays out in the image quality comparison, but there are no screw mounting holes for the camera at all, so you're going to be mounting this camera into a 3D printed mount. It's time for a very important comparison, weight. Now to make this weight comparison as fair as possible, I've removed the two shielding cans from the HD0 Whoop Light kit, which is what Carl advises you to do if you're mounting this on Tiny Whoops. And I fitted an identical cable going from the flight controller to the VTX on both systems. So you can see that the cable is the same length and has the same connector at the end, so should weigh exactly the same. We'll start with the HD0 board. And the whole system weighs seven and a half grams. If we compare that to the Walksnail 1S Lite VTX, you can see that that comes in at 8.5 grams. So there's about one gram difference there. So we can see that the Walksnail system ends up about a gram heavier overall compared to the HD0 system. Some of that difference in weight is down to the larger lens assembly in the Walksnail camera. To see what effect that has, let's take a look at the image quality comparison now. This is Goggle DVR recorded at 720p 60 frames per second for both systems. And as I like to do with these comparisons, I'm not going to tell you which system is which up front. I'm just going to let you make up your own mind which system you prefer based on the color, the detail, the exposure of the camera, all of that stuff. Now I'm going to zoom both systems in to two times so that if you're watching on a smaller screen, you can really see the level of detail offered by each of the systems. So have a look at how the systems are resolving the foliage and the buildings in the distance here. Now I'm going to zoom back out to one times and show you which system is which. We've got the walk snail system on the left and the HD zero system on the right. In my opinion, the Walksnail Avatar system offers better colors and more detail even at the same resolution compared to the HD0 system. For those of you who are really into Tiny Whoop racing, the latency of the video link is going to be very important. So let's look at the latency of these two systems side by side and see how they compare in their different modes. This latency test footage has been captured at 1000 frames per second, so one frame equals one millisecond of latency. At zero, the LED in front of the camera turns on, 
and all the video is synchronized so you can see how long it takes all of the systems in their different modes to react. To save you counting frame by frame, I've produced this bar chart comparing the latency of the two systems. At 720p, HD0 has a latency advantage compared to Walks Now Avatar, about 4 or 5 milliseconds or so. We should be aware that HD0 is running at 60 frames per second compared to 100 frames per second from the Walks Now system, which means that the Walks Now system might give you slightly smoother motion. At 1080p, HD0 has a much larger advantage in terms of latency, of more than 20 milliseconds. And it's interesting to me that there's not that much difference in latency between 720p and 1080p with HD0, which indicates that a lot of the latency is in the link between the VRX and the goggles, not between the VTX and the VRX. If you're interested in HD0, you'll want to know that the new HD0 goggles are very close to being released, and Carl has told me that we should expect a significant improvement in latency with the new HD0 goggles. We're looking at about 20 milliseconds for 720p 60 and something around 33, 34 milliseconds for 1080p 30. Right now, I think that the quality and performance of the upcoming HD0 goggle is going to be a really important factor for everyone considering investing in HD0. I'm going to be reviewing and testing that goggle for launch, so make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you see all of that test information as soon as it becomes available. Now that we have all the data, I've put together this summary table of the two systems. Weight-wise, the HD0 system comes out ahead by about 1 gram or so at 7.5 grams compared to the Walksnail Avatar's 8.5 grams for the whole system. Looking at the output power of the VTX, Walksnail Avatar outputs 350 milliwatts, and that's about 150 milliwatts more than the Whoop Light kit, so that's going to have slightly improved range and penetration as a result. Looking at the input voltage and currents for the system, the HD0 system is more flexible here because you can run it up to 3S voltage. So that means you're going to be able to power it from battery voltage for most small whoops and micro quads. The Walksnail Avatar system can only accept input up to 5 volts, which means that if you're using a 2S or 3S battery, you're going to need to make sure you use a flight controller with a 5 volt beck on it and a 2 amp beck is recommended because the system draws just slightly over 1 amp at full power. In terms of resolution and image quality, I think the Walksnow Avatar system is slightly ahead here in terms of detail, and it also has onboard recording as well, which means that you can get a high quality feed recorded on the drone that doesn't have any degradation due to transmission over the air. In terms of latency, HD0 is ahead here with a slightly lower latency that is probably going to get even faster with the new HD0 goggles and a constant latency as well which is very important for muscle memory for racing. Looking at pricing, pricing is pretty similar for both systems with the Walksnow Avatar Lite VTX coming in about $10 cheaper than the HD0 kit at $89. If you've watched the video this far then you certainly have all the information you need to decide which of these two systems is going to be right for you. Let me give you my thoughts on the matter in case you find them useful. I think that if you're choosing a new digital system for a Tiny Whoop today, the choice is going to come down to whether you want to get involved in Tiny Whoop racing or international game of Whoop or other competitive Whoop disciplines. If you do, then I think HD0 is the clear choice. The lower latency and the fixed latency of the system is going to give you an advantage in terms of the muscle memory that you need to build to be really fast around a tiny whoop racetrack or to pull off the more difficult tricks in international game of whoop. If you're not super focused on competing with your tiny whoop, then I think that overall you're going to prefer the walk snail avatar system. The better image quality and the option for onboard recording are really nice features and they do improve the experience of flying. Whichever kit you decide is right for you, there are links down in the video description to where you can buy either the Walksnail Avatar 1S Lite kit or the HD0 Whoop Lite kit today. And they are affiliate links, which means that if you click that link and make any purchase at the affiliated store, then I get a small commission. And it's one way that you can help support the channel and this test work that I'm doing. It doesn't cost you anything, and I would sure appreciate it if you take the extra second to use one of those links. That's all I have for you for today, so until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.